mwa wako peke yako unajua ah vile sasa yuko anapata na mabishte wengine wake tunajuana mmm ah mko na organization yote ambayo inasimamia hili swala ama eh uh, Kenya kuna Kenya Hemophilia Association iko na chairman anaitwa James Kago mm. I'm really hoping he's watching I told him I'll be live Ulimwambia yeah na kuna ingine inaitwa Jose Memorial uh, it, uh, in a, in a run from just around here wako mm. Maharaja opposite mpisha ah. Apo bado kuna kuna venye watu wengine wenda wana get like factors lakini haimo Kenya haimo free association ndio ina deal na even advocacy to let no to to reach unaweza pata e condition is sorry that you you might find mtu sorry mtu yuko na huko mashambani mm. mtoto ajulikani inaonekana ni kama ni uchawi mm. uh, so una unaweza pata kwa community wanashindwa ai mtoto wangu ni nini ni nini hey. alianguka aponi aponi so we we try to reach out to them una wa offer the, the 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 education they need to know about mm. condition yao yao alafu nini una una unaambia where where near and know how to tutako nini shida yote yenye wako nayo mko na group ya na labda whatsapp ama mna jadiliana aje eh tuko na group ya, ya whatsapp, WhatsApp. Ah. na daktari kwa da, daktari wetu ni very cooperative mm. anaitwa dr kibet mm. na tuko na sisters wenye wanasaidiana nao wenye wame specialize na hii condition yeah, na eh. clinic purpose linear hemophilia yeah, kapa kenya nh yeah. so ukiwa na any anything any emergency ukienda huko useme nataka niko na mgonjwa wa hemophilia ako na injury mm. because watajua remember we are talking about bleeding eh yeah? huyo hey. mtu anaweza katwa it bleed 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 bila mtu mwingine kujua mm. so kwa casualty ataenda kukaa hapo ataenda direct kwanza ndio ashughulikiwe nini the factors na kupewa factors ndio clotting ianze immediately especially kwanza injuries za head yeah uh Catherine uh unafikiria kama mama mama yake anajua kama mama umepata mtoto wako na hii hali lazima ni vigumu sana kwanza kwambia kijana usiende ucheze usiende kucheza uh ukienda kucheza uchungu usiumbie <laughs> sababu ni ngumu sana hawezi kaa chini Unadhani kama mama unapatwa na huyo na huo wasiwasi. Mm. Lakini isipokuwa ni sasa vile anakuambia mm. unless uko uko na injury lakini ingine anaweza tu cheza ubani kuwe ako na atapata hiyo injury kubwa. Mm. Na pia Joseph ni msimamizi wa CDF ya Peoples with Disability Kenya. Uh, sec- secretary Kiambu. Yeah. Eh, kwa oh, uh, kwa Kiambu County. Mm, Kiambu constituency. I will clarify that. Eh, Go. Eh. Eh, kuna fund inaitwa National Government NGCDF mm. ambayo inaraniwa na the member of parliament. Sa kwenye Kiambu constituency yenye ni amheshimiwa honorable Jude Chomo. Mm. Uh, niko kwenye hiyo hiyo committee CDF committee and uh, I'm the secretary there na nasimamia watu ambao wako na ule mavu sasa hiyo si necessarily the condition but watu wote because now when accident ilikuja sasa nili nilibidi nikubali sasa sasa si condition already sasa nimekuwa na ulemavu ni kitu ilikuwa ngumu sana lakini tunakuja kama kidogo tuambie jo yeye ajali kidogo yeah mm. okay due to my condition ilikuwa uh, ndio ilifanya ikuwa was due a head fracture in the leg mm. na dislocation moja na zote mbili zote mbili zote mbili yeah 
na na, na mkono mm. so at that time i stayed uh, at knh for uh, about nine months and then after that i had i was in form two so i had to use a wheelchair until i cleared form four i stayed on, on a wheelchair for for quite a long time and telling myself hey i'm not getting mm. i'm not go, going to become a, a disabled okay. i'm recovering mm. i will recover I will recover until now i, I recovered i started using crutches and i use one i use i get maybe a slip i fall maybe i go back to two crutches and then i realize mm. now i'm i'm disabled mm. and because uh, there is something i tell everyone you who are, who is no more when people are there you can become like me because accidents do happen to everyone but no. i'm not going back to being what i was so no. the thing is i accept myself the way i am no rationale the kind and the register mm. kama kama person living with disability <coughs> kwa huko kwa kanzo hapa wa yetu ndio niweze kufanya advocacy ya watu paka wenye wako na mlemavu mm. ndio hata mtu hata mwenye tumekuwa na na issues za watu wameficha watoto wao wako na ulemavu atakagi watoke wengine nao wako na live under stigma mm. society ina stigmatize watu so hizi ni issues zenye tumekuwa tuki advocate about uh, nao watu wenye wako na Mm. Uh, ni ni disability mm. yoyote hemophilia ni disability autism ni disability polio inaleta disability, disability yani disability ni sana inaweza kuja kwa ina macho unaumwa na kichwa mm. unakuwa blind kuna hearing impairment all those things they are just limits kuna unashindwa na kufanya what what na mo person do mm. na sasa hizo ndizo tumekuwa tuki tukijaribu ku advocate kwenye kwenye society na mm. watu wa stigmatize na watu waweze kutoa watu wao na watu waweze kujikubali wajua anaweza go to to another to to even the levels beyond ujaifikiria kufika kabla hata mm. hiyo hali ama hiyo condition ikufikie mm. sasa uko na bibi mrembo tena sana Catherine mm. wakati wa kwanza <laughs> wakati wa kwanza ambao ulikutana na Joseph au kuangalia ukaangalia tayari ame ako na crutches ama ameumia ama ako hali gani ulimpenda hivyo hivyo maana kuna mtazamaji labda ana ana, ana ulemavu wa aina yoyote na nafikiria mimi sasa nitatoa wapi mke nitatoa wapi bwana ama nitapata hata wapi mtu wa kunipenda unaweza labda tuambia au kufikiria ama what is your first impression mwana <laughs> a asi ku kresa wao ni kuona utaona lakini ukiongea na yeye unaona hata hataki kuona yeye ye yako hivyo anajiamini mm. anaona kenye wewe unaweza fanya hata yeye anaweza fanya kitu ni tu kujiamini mm. au kumuuliza ni nini kilifanyika ama pia marafiki zako walikuambia nini wazazi ama wakusema chochote a a kusema chochote wali tu <laughs> wakusema chochote ni vile tu yeye hata ukiongea na yeye ataki hata yeye atakanga ku, kuona ati yeye aizi jifanyia kitu anajiamini anaenda kazi anafanya kila cho, kila yote tu mtu anaweza fanya mm. ni nini unadhani yeye anahitaji sana ama watu wote wako na uh, any this, ulemavu yoyote unadhani ni nini aso anakuanga wakihitaji sana kumuonyesha tu ana yeye yeye anaweza na usione kama utumurumie aizi fanya hiku mm. anaweza kufanya kila kitu mm. sasa mkutana na Catherine mm. ulitaka kwanza kumuelezea kitu ya kwanza unataka kumbe siku zaliwe hivi nilipata ajali ndio maana niko hivi ama au kujali jua hiyo ama kutaka kujua lazima paka wa binadamu labda unajiuliza hayo maswali nimwambie gani kwanza nampenda ama kwanza nitasema ni mwambie siku zaliwa hivi. Mm. Okay. okay. Siku za kwanza mm. okay, venye tulipatana ilikuwa ga ni nilikuwa namuona lakini 
nilikuwa napita hapo na mtizi tu kidogo kamzungu sasa eh hey, hey, na pita... hivyo <laughs> sasa mimi mwenyewe <laughs> napita hivyo naenda hapo tusala labda tunaongea tu ni moja moja hata sikuwa nimefikiria mm. okay for a long time nilikuwa nime something had happened mm. earlier with a with a previous girlfriend eh? mm. so i had decided eh if inaenda inaendaga hivyo mm. uh, i won't i won't get married i was still like that i, I won't stand something like that tu ilikuwa ga msichana al mamake alikuja akaambia mamangu directly akamwambia hapana mamangu mtoto wangu hezi olewa akiwete okay we were we were we were we weren't that serious and yani, mm. tunaoana lakini we were we were best of friends eh? mm. and then eh, my mama kanimbia kama mama anaongea hivyo usiende na hapo hivyo ukue hurt na huko na nini na nini mm. so i had decided eh, siwezi nataka ku encounter kitu kama hiyo and then that time mimi sikuwa nimekubali ati nimeingia that category alafu unaona sasa nika transition imekuja mm umetoka kuongea amua tunazima mtu watu <laughs> umeingia <laughs> umeingia <laughs> kuongea ya kivi asikia <laughs> ni kiwete viwete kikapu vikapu nini yani ki ki eh. unajua hii african community ilikuwa ga sana eh. sana ina ina shida na ku address mm. watu wako na ule mavo wote mm. unatokaga kwa mtu unakuwa ki ki kitu kiwete kipofu kiziwi yani haikuwa na jina mzuri so unakuwa ka kitu mm. so ndio ina, ilikuwa inafanya I can't mimi mwenyewe kukubali hiyo. So sometimes unajipata you are, you are even trying to compromise with God. Hmm? Ukiona this is not happening unashindwa ni aje. Unaanza ku promise Mungu ikianza ku happen una, una, unajua ina, ina break even your faith because unasema ai naomba na nakwambia sasa nitaku tumekia kila kitu na nini na nini sasa wewe niponye tu ni but it is not happening because miracles ziko lakini we, we don't even appreciate the real miracles that we have mm, za kila siku za kila siku mm. so until i learned that nikakuja and then now i met i met her nikakuja tuka court of course i had ups and downs in life then i met hey. the most okay my mom passed pastor. Naweza ku, kuomba ushikilie hapo kidogo mm-hmm. tuelekee mapumzikoni alafu mm-hmm. tarejea baada ya muda usio kwa mrefu. Ah okay, uh, okay. mpenzi mtazamaji tuna meza mate kidogo. Nakumbuka unaweza asiliana nasi kupitia uh, nambari yetu ya simu ambayo ni 0768095491 ambayo iko pale kwa runinga yako. Ah uh, tunaelekea mapumzikoni tunarejea baada ya muda usio kwa mrefu. Usiende mbali. Karibu tena mpenzi mtazamaji. Hiki ni kipindi cha tusemezane ikiwa unaungana nasi kwa mara ya kwanza. Vile tunazungumza na familia ya Kamau akituelezea juu ya maisha yao na juu ya masuala mbalimbali ambayo yamefanyika katika maisha yao. Kumbuka unaweza wasiliana nasi kutumia nambari yetu ya simu ikiwa ni 0768 0895491 hiyo namba ambayo ni 0768 0895491 0995491 pia unaweza ipata pale kwa runinga yako. Na pia kuna nambari yetu ya rafaa ambayo ni 2204 Tunazungumza na Joseph akituelezea vile vile alipatwa na hali ambayo hakuzaliwa nayo na ilikuwa vigumu sana kuelezewa na ku, kuji, kuji, kujitikia na ama kujikubali mambo yako hivi na hakuna hakuna mira kuitakuja ni kuendelea na maisha bila kujurumia. Kazi ni wakati mwingine um, nimepata jina lako sawa mara ya mwisho. Mm-hmm. Uh, wakati mwingine tunajiuliza maswali mengi. Wakati ule labda mwingine anauliza mbona Mungu alinifanyia hivi? Mbona hii ha- ajali ikafanyika kama hii hali 
ikanifikia mimi unamwambia nini na pia ukizungumza na, na sisi unazungumza pia na ule mtazamaji anakutazama leo unaweza mshauri nini ai kitu kutotu naweza mwambia ni kwamba Mungu unakujikubali sana sana hata nikujikubali alafu unakuwa yule mtu wa kuomba na unajua kila kitu kina happening na reason yake ukijua tu hivyo kila kitu tutaenda sawa ametuelezea kabla mkutani alikuwa anafikiria anasema kama ile relationship alikuwa uh, nayo mm. kabla mkutani ilienda vile ilienda akasema ai mistaki hiyo maneno tena uh, alikuelezea na pia akakwambia unaweza nikubali vile niko ama ashawahi kuuliza hiyo swali ama hajawahi Ashawahi sababu aliniambia kusema story. Eh. Oh. Shikilia hapo kidogo kuna kuna Frank Wanyika kutoka kaunti ya Machakos. TV47 hello. Tumempoteza na na natumaye atapiga simu tena. Uh, tulikuwa tunazungumza nayo uh, Catherine. Eh uh, aliniambia <laughs> kusema story lakini kutoka sasa hapa kaniambia hizo nataka kurudi hapo tena na hiyo ni needs hizo hizo mawazo za huko zamani mm. za hao na songi endelee na maisha. Mm. Hii ilikuwa muhimu sana. Na pia mzazi mama aku, aku taka ku al, najua alizungumza juu hilo swala mara nyingi sana. Na pia hakuna mtu anafurahia akisikia mtoto wake anaitwa haya majina. Na pale ukiwa hospitali daktari alizungumza na akakwambia, "Eh, hey, Joseph, mambo ni haya." maisha itakuwa hivi na hivi na hivi. Aliweza kukuelezea ama alielezea wazazi. Unajua daktari ye yeah, ukao umeletwa kwake mm. uko na shida fulani. Ye yeah, kazi yake kubwa ni kukuonyesha na kurudisha venye ulikuwa. So yana kutreat anaona umetoka out of danger anakuambia you, you uende physiotherapy mm. ile time. Mm. So wewe wewe kwa akili yako yeye ana create a picture of recovery. Daktari yeye anakupatia hope wewe hata ukienda huko nje. Mm. Wewe kwa unafanya physiotherapy hivi, mm. kunywa hizi dawa, kunywa hivi, utarecover vizuri. So yeye kwake hata saa hizi akiona kutokana na penye nilikuwa, mm. yeye anaona at least ni achievement cause it was bad. Mm so ispokuwa ni watu sasa sisi sasa mwenye mwenye shida mm. ndio expectation inakuja juu mm. unasahau urudi venye you were created now by god cause injury ishaingia ishaingia so i guess wao walifanya kazi yao vizuri sana mm. i thank professor mwanda he was always there every day na i guess isipokuwa ni yeye mambo ingekuwa ingekuwa mbaya zaidi lakini all in all family family kaa yangu mm. kutoka my mom my brothers my dad wote walikuwa by my side wote hata hata saa hizi sorry my mom my mom passed on yeah, lakini my, my, my brothers my brothers ndio akinipigia simu kwa yuko na shida yeye anataka e, nini nini wewe e, nini aje umenipoteza hivi nini nini hukuja hivi mm. yani hakuna ati huyu huyu ama ama ni huyu wananiona gatu venye tukiwa watoto mm. and then i found this beautiful young woman when she was very young and uh, we've been together now for for those five years for five years aka ka change now hiyo hiyo notion ya kusema hapana i don't know, i don't want to ever get married because you of what happened i just wanted a the relationship to the kaka a change naenda until nikala na hati yake mm. akwa naona hata tukiongea nini nini she became my best friend and then now i came to meet her mom she became my mom mwanamke wa nguvu sana she is a hero a hero in by the way because mm-hmm. amenishikilia sana because even after that after tumeoana na nini na nini 
kanso yetu ya mzazi sasa mm. imekuwa ni kwake always mm. and mama un mama yako antena Catherine <laughs> <laughs> Joseph ameweza kumsifu mama yako sana um, kitaka ushauri anasema mnaenda kwake vile mara ya kwanza niwaambie nimepata boyfriend na hata nataka tuoane uh, na vile yuko alikuambia nini hako <laughs> uh, ana shida niambia tu wakuje wajoane eh hey. na marafiki zako na watu wengine wa familia wote watu wako sawa <laughs> wana janga tu na hata yeye anakuwa rafiki wao sana. Mm. Ulipoteza marafiki wakati huu umepata ajali, uwezi kutembea, uwezi jifanyia labda baadhi ya mambo ambayo ungefanya kabla upone kabisa. Uliweza kupoteza marafiki ama yeye iku, iku, iku fikia hapo. Kwa sababu wakati mwingine unapoteza hata marafiki. Mm. Sema sasa hatuwezi cheza ball, hatuwezi mm. fanya hivi, hatuwezi fanya hivi kuna wakati unapoteza wengine but in my case it's like i got more sa hata kama saa hizi kuna hata jamaa mwingine alikuja kwa ngo kaniuliza eh yani wewe kutoka hata kitambo yani venye tulikuwa tumejaja hapo kwenye mpaka mm. huko kwako ndio kuna jajaga njoo tuko niko na marafiki zangu kila time na tunafikiria kufanya kitu tukicheza scrabble kana mm. tumichezo tumichezo simple simple kuongea i mean politics mm. a, a, na watu wengi tunaongea tunaongea vitu about development about the community unaona sasa tuna find council with each other so mm. marafiki nilipata wengi nilipoteza wengine mm. na wengine hata si kupoteza juu ya hadi mm. because i remember saka wenye walikuwa na nia sister high school sasa wao wengine kila mtu anaenda kwao sasa mimi labda mna keep in touch facebook na nini na nini but they are they are still friends but they ceased being best friends wengine sasa wenye mlikuwa mnafanya vitu vingine za youth wame wame grow up mtu ame ame relocate ana shift place nyingine anaenda una get wengine nao wenye mnaenda sate na kesi. Mm. Mm. Nadali ulipata ukiwa na umri gani? Kwa mdogo kijana wa form 2. Form 2. Mm. Sasa shule ulibadilisha, ulikaa kwa hospitali ndani. Actually was a, was a day scholar. Ah, ulikuwa unarudi nyumbani kila Sa, siku. Kila siku. Mm. Sana wa after that after 9 months ndio nilienda boarding school. Yeah. So kupata changamoto kuwa boarding school. Ah, uh, nilikuwa na changamoto lakini I had a head head brothers and uh, one called Moses Waiganjo he's now in Botswana he was recently in Mozambique I had Moses Bogwa I had Simon Kibe some of them might be watching and uh, those guys were my brothers and and and, 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 and the whole school actually because I was on a wheelchair wengine walikuwa wanakuja wanasema kuja twende rough rider saa hizo ni wakati wa rough rider kitu mwenda rough rider sasa wanakuja na wheelchair ina itaendeshwa venye wanataka and i was enjoying siku nyingine siku zingine nilikuwa na angusho tuna tangukana huko kesho hata siendi daro eh umeumia tena zaidi sasa unajua alikuja tu mnacheza anacheza mchezo dakika moja umeanguka mm. so they also help me recover the, the, the very very fast yeah. as a ball it was lightly na pia positive sana yeah, yeah. yeah. mm. ulikuwa peke yako shule mzima uko na wheelchair ama pia kulikuwa na watu wengine i was the only one and everyone wanted to, to push the only challenge came when the challenge came at night because i i, I loved to wake up around 3 na na hiyo 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 time akukua na watu wengi hmm. wanapenda kuamka hiyo time shikilia tu kidogo tuzungumze na Frank Wanyika TV47 Frank habari asubuhi asante ah, dada habari yako habari ya machakos nzuri sana habari za Mombasa ah ni mtendaji Nairobi, ya. Nairobi. Eh, <laughs> lakini natumai Mombasa pia ni kuzuri salimia Joseph na Catherine wamesalimika 
e, mwambie pole sana kwa masaibu walio mpata lakini yote mipango ya Mungu kwa sababu Mungu ana ana mipango yake. Naam. Pia wasaidia na kuambia kwamba afae mm. kwa jiti ndio rafiki. Naam. Kwa hiyo nashukuru kwa sababu anajitahidi na anajipa moyo na kate tamaa na Mungu atambariki. Asante sana. Asante. Asalimie sana Catherine and then na moyo huyo na Mungu atambariki. Asante sana. Ah, kwa na siku njema huyu alikuwa ni Frank Toka County ya Machakos. Turudi kwako ulikuwa unasema kitu. Kimepotea. <laughs> 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 na vile ulikuwa pale shule watu walikuwa na kuchezea sana ulikuwa nasema mm. wana wheelchair na nini na mm. walimu ama wazazi walikuja ama familia yako ilikuja kuweza kuambia watu kwenda kwa class labda wakuwekeka step sababu uko na wheelchair ama hakuna mtu alikuja ila kutoka kwa ule mgeni wetu aliyepiga simu hapo awali mm. na pole nimekukatiza Hotel <laughs> 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 actually that's one of my best friends ah. Mwadhi ukaranja. Mwadhi ukaranja. Tawe ya na mjua. Ah, tuya na mjua. Mwadhi mrefu. Ana, ana mtu. Ana ito mrefu? Hmm. Lazima ni mrefu sana. Ito mrefu. Ano mjua mda mrefu ama ni mrefu? Ni mrefu sana. Ni mrefu sana? Mwadhi mda mrefu na pia ni mrefu sana. 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 Ah, ni mzuri sana. Like, uyu ni rafiki yako ameweza kutazama na anakuambia usife mwoyo. Hmm. Hindi ona. Catherine kwa kufanya kazi nzuri kusimama na wewe. Uh, tukimjibu ule mtazamaji aliyepiga simu hapo awali akiuliza jo ile mtoto uh, utajua muda ni muda gani itachukua mtoto kupona ulikuwa unatuelezea pole kwa kukatiza. Uh, sasa tuangalie kwanza history. Mm. Tukaongea hiyo labda u, kama kwa familia iko. Kwa familia kina mke wake kama mm. yeye ye si hemofili wewe ni muhimu kuangalia kwa e, e. kwa familia mke wake kama e. anaweza kuwa e. kuna hemophilia e. after after that injuries zo kuja be to the injuries injuries mtoto wakati ameanza kutembea, kutembea. si injury ya, ya mtoto wa kusimama tu hapa hivi wakati amekuwa active yani in walking akigongwa ina, ina swell na kama unaweza ona ni kama kuna blackish mm. vizuri kwenda hospitali mm. ujue nini inafanya aswe live vyote yenye ina heal normally like 2 3 days unaweza pata ameenda one week and then it gets so hot unasikia ni moto sana na imefura zaidi na nikaa haiishi na hiki ukikunywa mm. ukikunywa maybe paracetamol inaenda inapungua na nini ukiekelea baby eyes mm. na unasikia ime imetulia kidogo nitakatiza tena je <laughs> mtu kutoka Nairobi TV 47 hello hello habari asubuhi nzuri sana uh, unatupikia kutoka wapi iko Nairobi Manyanja road eh hey. eh hey, nataka kuongea na tusemezane karibu endelea tafadhali hello my name is Stacy Kemunto eh hey. Hello TV47 Kimunto nakusikia. Sana nataka kuongea about Joseph Kamau. Namjua sana ni rafiki yangu. Naam. And he is a very strong man. Ndio kwa kumweni carriage and there hivi hivyo. Naam Kimunto. Alafu pia nashukuru mke wake Catherine kwa kumshikilia. Mm. Ra Joseph. Eh hey, poa Stacy sema. Stacey. Anakusikia. Hello, hello, hello. Sasa ndio namwambia. Eh. God is with him. Familia yake imebarikiwa, asiwe na shaka. Ugonjwa si mwisho wa maisha. Naam. Ya, na nawapenda sana. Asante sana. Aya. Hata sisi yes, tunakupenda yes, yes. sana. Aya. <laughs> eh. Asante kwa siku njema. Asante.
Asante sana. Endeleni kuwasiliana nasi kupitia nambari yetu ya saf, 0768 tisa tano nne tisa moja wale watu wako mashinani labda kuna swali limeulizwa hapa juu ya mtoto unaweza aje kujua kwa na hii ugonjwa ama hali si ugonjwa ni hali Aa, na kama wanatuelezea juu ya hayo wamesema lazima kwanza ni inaweza toka kwa wazazi hmm. mostly inatoka kwa mzazi kwa mzazi so kwa boy jundi anakuwa affected mm. mostly girls wanakuwaga wanakuwaga carriers mm unless gala kuna two exes zenye tuseme ametoa kwa babake ex mm. na kwa mamake ex ikijenye mm. iko na h haimofilia labda ndio mtazamo zi, mbili zimekuwa mbili mm. pole sana kwa katiza ndio wewe vile uliumia ulisema uli, ulipatwa na fracture miguu yote miwili mm. sasa unaweza tuambia ndio mtazamaji aweze kujua labda anaweza approximate mm. ili kuchukua muda gani wewe kupona uh, mimi kupona ile inimchukua miaka kam, karibu mbili hivi miaka na bado sasa unaona bado isipokuwa niliget injury sasa tena last year mm. mgongo wa kidogo accident nyingine mm. sasa nilikuwa natumia crutch moja ninge walk bila mti lakini si mbali still taking precaution yeah? in, in case ya kuslide kidogo mm. but inatikigi longer very long and then you have to be hospitalized for for, for a very long time mm. ndio ukae uki ukiongezewa the, the factors kujaribu ku raise your factor level ndio hiyo injury ikue ina heal eh, yeah to, to he facilitate healing ndio mm. sasa bonde yako i heal the, 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 the same way na bone inashikana vizuri mm. lakini masu kwenye kuna injury ya bleeding na nini na nini na nini. Ndio unapata na hmm. kuna shida. Hmm. Kwa hivyo yote anayetazama leo kumbuka ni vyema ama Joseph anatushauri ni vyema ukiona mtoto ameumia na anachukua muda mrefu kabla kupona ni vyema upigele like, utembelee hospitali uweze kuangalia labda kuna shida hmm. sababu mara nyingi hizi shida ama hali sio rahisi kuzijua. Hmm. Hmm. Na kuna wengine wa, wanaweza kuwa savia unaweza pata ana, ana get injury na hajafanya kitu unapata ameswell mahali mm. ame ana bleed men mm. sana nini mm. nose bleeding eh shikilia hapo kidogo shikilia hapo tendelea <laughs> patrick kutoka butere habari asubuhi tv 47 na hello kaongea patrick habari leo patrick tu sana ndugu yako mimi niko salama butere kukwaje sawa kwa mvua ni nyingi mvua ni nyingi sana hapa Butere mm eh. ungependa kuchangia nini kwa kipindi chetu cha leo kipindi ni mzuri sana eh kwambie tu hao wageni wangu wajipe moyo wasife moyo na Patrick eh eh wajipe moyo Jipe moyo, wajipe moyo. Maisha ni polepole, wajipe tu moyo Mungu wako. Naam. Eh. Asante sana uwe na siku njema na usalimiwa tu Butere. Naambia waendelee kutazama Runinga TV 47. Haya pia wewe. Asante. Tuendelee. <laughs> Pole sana, tuendelee na wewe sasa. Mm. Sasa ndio nakwambia mm. wa, waweze kwenda hosi mm, ata atapimwa anaweza kuwa ni shida zingine uko mm. nazo other than ni, 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 kuna kuna so many other conditions that are there so ni vizuri kwenda 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 hospital hizo zo, zote hizi level 5 tuseme kuna clinic kama Moranga kuna clinic yetu iko coast ya hemophilia kuna mm. Eldoret na kuna ya Kisi na kuna ya kinyata mm. KNH. So hizo hizo zote akienda huko anaweza ambiwa, anaweza ambiwa ida mtoto yuko na na shida gani. Yeah. Asante sana. Ah, mm. uh, tumeambiwa msikufe moyo, mjipe moyo. Mm. Maisha yanaendelea, si ndio? Ah, mm. uh, Catherine, kama mzazi, tena mzazi wa wewe ni mama. Mm. Mama wana, kina mama wanashikwa na wasiwasi sana. Kumbuka nilikuwa naumia tu kidogo mama nakimbia huku na huku. Ah, uh, Najua uko na mko na mtoto msichana. 
mvulana ah mm. uh, unaweza tuambia ule wasiwasi labda wa mzazi anayetazama labda mtoto wake ameumia mali uh, kuna shikilia hapo kidogo tuzungumze na Lea kutoka Mwea TV 47 hello Lea hello habari ya leo njema sana mwe kuko aje uko poa ungependa kuchangia ni kwa kipindi chetu cha leo ungetaka kuwa hapa moyo asanti tumepoteza leo na natumai atapiga simu tena umepoa moyo najua atapiga ama natumai atapiga simu tena mm. atueleze zaidi kile ambacho alikuwa anataka kusema nilikuwa nakuuliza lile swali la kama mama mama anakuwa na wasiwasi mwingi Uh, wakati ule mtoto bado ni mchanga na ameanza kutembea unaanguka unataka kwenda kucheza huwezi simama hata vizuri kazi nyingine bado unangangana tu uh, unaweza ambia nini mzazi labda ameona mtoto wake amefura kama hiyo klo tunatuelezea inachukua muda mrefu na naanza kupanic ni kawaida ya mama kupanic unaweza mwambia nini ile tunaweza mwambia ni aende tu hospitali apime sababu seti mm. akifura maki kata kupona ako na hiyo condition mm. vizuri tu niende hospitali apimiwe na asikuwe na wasiwasi mm. watu wengi wanakuambia ama ambao wanawatazamaji wetu tu ambao wanapiga picha wanasema uh, uendelee kujipa uendelee kujipa moyo ama msikufe roho mm. si ndio mm. uh, so uh, ni ni kawaida ni wewe hata unanga hiyo huruma manake unange hata kama hii ni hali unampenda hakuwe vile ya yuko mngekutana bila akiwa kabla ya ajali bado ungempenda mm. kuna mtu ambaye labda ako na hali yoyote ile na anatafuta labda mchumba unaweza mwambia angalie nini sisi hmm? mimi kenye tu naweza mwambia ni afuate roho yake hey. Ama tuzungumze kwanza na Rose wa Wera alafu tukuje kwako. Eh? Mm. Hale TV 47 Rose habari asubuhi. Hale TV 47 Tumempoteza Rose lakini tutawasiliana na tujadiliane naye akipiga simu tena. Haya unaweza tuelezea sasa. <laughs> Sabahani kwa katiza. <laughs> eh, sa. Ni zatu mwambie afate roho yake. Eh. Mm. <laughs> kama kama nasikia ama kabla bado hujaolewa unataka kuolewa mnako sana mm. na vitu mingi tu wewe fuata roho yako itakwambia wewe jisikize. Mm. Ah uh, tutaweza kuvuka moja kwa moja hadi bunge ambapo speaker wa bunge la kimataifa Justin Turi kwa ushirikiano na speaker wa bunge la Tanzania wame wamekutana kuzani wa kidato cha nane. tutavuka tutakuletea habari baada ya muda usio kuwa mrefu sasa tunaendelea na mada yetu ya leo ambao tunazungumza na familia ya Kamao pole nikatiza tunaweza kuendelea sasa na wewe unaweza mshauri mtu nini <laughs> unaweza kumshauri mtu nini ambaye ako na labda anampenda mtu lakini labda huyu mtu yeye yako sawa kama Joseph kama yuko sawa yeye ajihurumie hata kidogo je eh hali za manake ya kuzaliwa na ana ilifika na ikaichukua na akaamua maisha yako hivi sivyo si mm. kuna msichana kama wewe labda huyo msichana ako na hali fulani maishani mwake na anatafuta mchumba na anaogopa mimi sasa nitatafuta mtu aje nitaanza wapi eh unaweza mshauri nini naweza mwambie tu agoze mm <laughs> time tu ya mungu ndio mzuri na atapata na ajiamini na kwe na naomba amini tu Mungu kila kitu itakuwa sawa. Mm. Uh, watazamaji wengi wanatazama na wapea moyo. Ha? Wanawapea moyo na pia Rose ame, ameweza kurudi tena tuzungumze naye kidogo. Hello Rose TV 47 hello. Hello Rose TV 47. Rose unatusikia? Hello Rose. Ataweza kutupigia simu tena tumempoteza kwa sasa. Sasa tukirudi kwako Joseph. Watu wengi wanakuambia jipe moyo. Uh, jipe moyo hii ni hali imefanyika na ukwe na nguvu. 
Manake hii ni kitu ambacho kinaweza mfanyikia yote. Hmm. Si ndio? Mshauri gani unaweza mpa mtu ambaye ako mashinani ama ako pahali popote hapa duniani anakutazama? Ile ushauri naweza ambia mtu. Mm. Uh, maisha yenye nimeishi nimejua Mungu hawezi kupatia mzigo ambao uwezi ubeba. Bora tuwe ukubali utaendelea mbele. If you don't accept it, utarag behind. Mm. Hakuna kitu yako itaendelea. Utakuwa kila saa yu una, unajionea huruma. Unasema sasa sitafanya hivi. Mimi hakuna kitu mi na mimi najua ga if easy ni stairs, siwezi zipanda. Mm. Venye wewe unazipanda. Wewe utapanda na 30 minutes, I mean utapanda na 3 minutes. Na mimi nitazikamilisha tu na 30 minutes. But I'll be there. Kama ni mtaro iko hapa, wewe utapitia hapa utairuka, na mimi nitazunguka pale 20 minutes but I'll be there. So maybe sa- sometimes the society ndio ijue bridges zenye wao wanafaa kutengeneza. Ndio nini? Kila mtu hii kuruka penye wewe unaweza kuruka ili nisizunguke na mimi nipitie tu hapo. Hizi stairs ndio ujue kuna elevator inaweza nifikisha hapo. And in that na maanisha vitu mingi za maisha. Mm. Na kumpo shikilia hapo kidogo tutaendelea Samuel Mwangi kutoka Kiambu TV47, hello Samuel Hello Habari ya leo Hili sana Kiambu vipi? Kiambu hiko sawa Eh Ya, ni mesike yo mjadu na mkona Joseph Kamau Eh Tumesikia, tumekua na Kamau Kiambu Eh na tumekuwa tukisika tukisika nita moja kama nikiwa piani piani si hapo eh naam yes yeah, so tumekuwa na naomba kama sana naam asukuru mungu sana kwa na hapo akiongea akiongea yani naam yeah asante sana asante sana eh asukuru sana na na kama ukisimama huko kuwa politician atashinda ata kiti huko ana marafiki hey, wengi sana ambao wanampa moyo. Hiyo ni vizuri. Endeleeni hivyo hivyo. Usimwache yeah, nyuma na pia Catherine msimsahau. Asante sana. Uh, tuweze kuendelea. Umesema ni vizuri uh, serikali kuangalia kama wanatengeneza daraja ama unaingia kwa nyumba ama jumba fulani kuwe na elevator kama ule mtu mwingine. Uh-huh. Na in that na maanisha si hizo tu those are just nimetumia zikiwa like typically mm. like hizo kuna mtu mwenye haski ili hiyo ndio mtaro yake bridge yake ni umtafutie interpreter mm. kuna mtu aoni bridge yake ni hiyo ndio mtaro yake bridge yake ni gani mm. umek sure na access even devices mm. zenye sina okay. zina mo, zina Wacha tuzungumze na Agnes ki, kidogo kutoka Masinga. TV47 hello. Eh hello. Habari ya leo? Nzuri sana. This is Agnes kutoka kwa Wanzilu. Eh. Nataka kuchangia Kadrin and Joseph. Ungependa kusema nini? Nataka kuambia Kadrin. Nzuri sana. Ungependa kuambia kazi nzuri sana. Catherine sana sana. Catherine she is very strong woman. Nimefurahi sana kwa kumkubali Joseph akiwa hivyo. Yes. Asante sana Agnes kwa kuwasiliana na. Wake. Na wazazi wa Catherine pia. Nimeuwa hapo. Kama? Naam. Asante sana na nimefurahi sana. Asante sana Agnes kutoka Masinga. Asante kwa kuwasiliana nasi. Uh, Catherine umepongezwa sana na pia wazazi wako waweze kuwafikishia huo ujumbe ukifika nyumbani pia wewe Joseph. Uh, umesema unazungumza kwa jumla, sio jumba peke yake, sio hata labda mahali kwa buildings pia. 
kama ukienda mahali kuna vitu am, ambavyo unahitaji mm. uwezi tu enda upande mahali popote your disability comes when you are limited to access hiyo kitu unahitaji mm. na ndio nimesema kuna so many types of disabilities na wakati mtu analimitiwa kufanya kitu uh, kuna that limit ya kufanya hiyo kitu yenye alikuwa anataka kufanya unakuwa disabled wewe mwenyewe so ni, ni vizuri sana even the government iangalie the whole fraternity ya persons with disability kuna 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 systems zenye ziko tunajua they are trying but more of what's need to be to be done yeah na ulianza kufanya pale na wale mavu kwa ile shirika ambayo unafanya pale Kiambu umesema ah uh, si ndio baada ya umeumia umepata ajali mm. umekuwa mmoja wao mm. Uh, uli, 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 uliweza kufikia hapo aje uh, after high school mm. ilikuja nikaanza kufanya exercise <laughs> na wewe nikatize kidogo kutoka Kiambu tuko na Anne Wanjiko Hana Wanjiko kutoka Kiambu TV 47 hello hello habari ya leo ungependa kuchangia nini kwa uh, kipindi chetu cha leo Eh. Endelea hana na kusikia vizuri. Hello. Hello. Hana, habari ya Kiambu? Kiambu iko sawa, na pia ningependa kabla tumaliza utuambie we una kiti kipi uko Kiambu? Manake inaonekana kila mtu anakutazama. Viti, viti ni mingi. Viti ni nyingi. <laughs> Tuanze na hii kwanza ulifika aje kwa hiyo kikundi ambacho umesimamia kama secretary ulisema. Wacha nianze nianze penye nilianza. Sasa hey. venye nimaliza high school. Form 1. Ah ukamaliza high school. school. Eh. Hey. Nikaanza kufanya exercise kidogo. Eh. Hey. And then nikaanza biashara kidogo kiambu stage nilikuwa na vent na uza hivyo hooking hooking kuka kuja na kukawa na eh, national national youth council mm ni kasi mama kiambu eh, national youth council nikachaguliwa na wana youth mm nikakuwa nikachaguliwa nikaenda juu nikaenda juu up to the provincial mm. provincial delegate mm. wa national youth council <laughs> and then after that kakuja National Youth Bunge Association. Tutaendea kwa hiyo cha mbili shikilia kidogo John Maina kutoka Kitale. TV 47 hello. Hello. Habari? Ndio sana. Habari ya Kitale John? Kitale tuko azipa mvua mingi na hata pia maji ni mingi. Hiyo ni mzuri. Eh. Yeah. Ah ungependa kuchangia nini kwa kipindi chetu cha leo? Ah, nashukuru sana. Naam. Uh, unaweza rudia uh, uh, kilo umesema tafadhali siwezi kusikia nadhani redio yako au runinga yako iko na sauti ya juu sana. Okay, Naomba upungize kidogo. Ah nitaenda kushukuru wapenda nao wili. Naam. Kwa sababu nimeona kwanza yule dada ana mwepu. Naam. Pia huyo ndugu nimeona ni mtu mkakamavu. Kweli kabisa akimungu wabariki sana ni jambo hilo msichana asisikiliza mapeni na mapeni huko wengi ni wapawa wanapenda kukumbia watu moyo wanaitwa nini penina penina wa kukumbia watu moyo penina eh yeah. <laughs> penina ule wa biblia eh yeah, atukubali kusikiliza maneno ya watu amwangalie tu kuna wacha na waendelee kusikiliza asante sana john ah uh, yule alikuwa ni john kutoka kitale amekuambia usisikilize Usisikilize kina Penina wanasema mambo mengi. Mm. Hmm? So ya kwanza umeingia umepanda mpaka juu kabisa. Ha. Ya pili ilikuwa gani? Pili nikakuja kukakuja ukawa na anda Masiko in USA ka form National Youth Bunge. So I was one of the board members Kiambu County. Uh, sa I served there by term we we even started a circle mm. national 
Kiambu Youth Bunge Association Circle, Kiambu County, which also runs to uh, and helps the youth mm. to, to have a discipline in saving and, and loans. Mm. And uh, after that, Nikakua na touch mm. na watu. And I believed mm. Kiambu needed a leader who is articulative. Ndo wakatiza tu kidogo tuvuke mpuni. Ngependa pia kuwa shukuru baadhi ya watu ambao wa, wame, wame shukuru sana. Catherine Tanza na Jennifer kutoka Mbitini, Kitui, kuna ule pia Agnes kutoka Machakos. Kuna mwingine amesema uendele kuwa na uwe moyo anaitwa Ivana kutoka Nandi. Uh, Tukirejea kwa kwa sasa buwana Joseph. Mm-hmm. Umesema ume, umekua kwa ungozi kwa sehemu mbali mbali Paka mm-hmm. kufikia maali sasa unafanya kazi Unaweza tuelezea kuna mtu anakutazama labda kutoka huko kwa kutoka mashinani mm-hmm. Na ana ulemavu wa inamoja hao nyingine Na ningependa kujua ndio niweze kupata labda hata usaidizi Naenda wapi naanza wapi mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kuna usaidizi wa waina mingi kama saa hizi mimi nafanya kazi na kama secretary wa national government and gcdf kiambu mm-hmm. mm-hmm. eh, na uko kama venye watu kwa kiambu wanajua mm-hmm. juzi tulikuwa na mheshimiwa wetu jude jomo mm-hmm. na tukapatia watu wengi sana vitu kama wheelchairs mm-hmm. over 100 bado tunaendelea kuregister watu mm-hmm. kama kama ni watoto unajua tunakujaga tuna kuna wenye hawa, hawana fee ya kufanyiwa assessment kweli tunakujaga sometimes tuna organize camp na mheshimiwa wetu watu wanakuja wanatestiwa wa, wanaonekana ulemavu wao kwenye umefika na usaidizi wenye wanataka Naam. wanapewa ile id mm. ya kuonyeshana wewe ni mlemavu kutoka mtoto mdogo kabisa anapewa hiyo id uh, na tumekuwa na, na those programs na mambo mambo mingi tunafanya Shule, Naam. shule karibu zote za primary. Naam. Kuna a well-equipped special class mm. zenye zinaendelea. Naam. Na kuna zenye, zenye hazija malizika, bado zita malizika. Th- those are new initiatives by our mwishimua with this committee. Mm. Ukiangalia secondary school zenye zimejengo already the mega project watu wakiamu ni kisema hivu wanazijua. Those, those Zenye zote ni za gorofa. Ziko na ramp saimu moja na stia saimu moja. So mm. mtu wa wheelchair, mtu mm. wa nini, hame, hamefanya. Kenya hata enda. Shikili hapo kidogo, tutarudi yes. kwako. Tuko na Ruth kutoka Eldore TV 47. <coughs> Habana subu. Tumempoteza, tuendele, tutaweza kumpata tena na tumaini. Yeah. And then kuna forms inachukuliwa kwa 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 Social, social work mm. offices in Kiambu opposite police au ni wenye wanataka usaidizi wa assist wali, li, maybe ladies wanataka kwanza kitu kama salon mm. jamaa anafanya welding na nini mm. na nini na wako na ulemavu wana assist wana na those kids mm. kama u, kama wajui wengi Kiambu wanajua hoya to find me wakikuja kwa ofisi hizo za mheshimiwa waulize Jose tampataji ya tu assist kujaza hii form mm. na kuzipeleka. You know I'm always available there. Jose yuko kiambu. Kuna mtu wako kitale. Kuna mungina wako nandi. Yanasaidiwa na nani? This is a national, a national government initiative. Kwa hivyo tafute. It is everywhere. Hey. It is supposed to be everywhere. Mm. Na ni, ni, ni nge wapa changamoto representative wa every area. Wenye wanatusikiza. Wakue even proactive. Yani wajue most of the people living with disability mm. unless we are wow yeah. cuz another disability ni watu kukosa kusoma vitabu na nini na even ukiuliza watu ukiweka kitu kwa kuandikwa mm. kwa maandishi Nam. watu wengi hawasomagi so what you don't know won't even help you Kwele. so wengi tunafanya kuwafikia kumkono juu ukiangalia ispokuwa maybe Nairobi and Kiambu mm. where people get education mzuri no. unaenda places zingine hata wewe mwenyewe huna shida kuenda hata shule bado ni shida no. so mwenye ulemavu 
yeye mwenyewe kufika sasa inakuwa ni times 10 so wengi wao wanakuwa na maybe na level of poverty maybe mashambani na nini na nini inakuwa gajuu sana na we can we can't do enough because mm. there is a lot to be done even hata ko hata huku kwetu there is a, there is still a lot to be done mm. yeah. uh Catherine kama wakati mwingi tumesikia visa ambavyo mtu amepata mtoto ni mlemavu na anamficha wewe unaona nini kwa nini wazazi wanaweza ficha mtoto sababu ya ulemavu wake sana sana wanamficha sababu kwa maybe kwa jamii zao wanataka wanaambi umlemavu labda ni vitu vitu tu za anaambiwa ni uchawi vitu kama hizo lakini mimi naweza tu waambia watoe watoto hata wakificha awasaidiki wa watoe tu na watasaidika mm. na pia zile ofisi labda ni ushauri kwa kila mmoja anayetazama na jua mtu wako na ulemavu fulani afike kwa zile ofisi zenyu umesema ziko kila sehemu katika kaunti zetu zote 47 za hapa Kenya ambazo ni za NGCDF uende ufike huko utapata mtu akusaidie labda kama uwezi soma kuna watu wanakusaidia kusoma kujaza hmm. na mnapeana wilcha ni nini kingine ambacho mnapeana kwa sorry NGCDF hmm. ni National Government Constituency Development Fund Kweli. kit ambayo inaraniwa hmm. na member of parliament Kweli. kwa hivyo kila mahali kuna MP hmm. ako nayo hiyo haiko tu na, na limit ya ku na persons with disability it's the only nime, nimeongea about disability yenye tume counter tukiwa kwa that office mm. June mimi nasimamia that docket sasa mm. kuna mambo mingi sana about development kuna mabarabara kuna zenye una, unaonaga sasa kama mheshimiwa commission mm. kuna mashule kuna kazi mingi zenye zinaendelea zenye, zenye i Constituency Development Fund inafanya. Mm. Uh, National Council for Persons with Disability. Hiyo nayo una, ndiyo una inapeanaga kadi. Kama mtoto tuseme anahitaji kitu kama wheelchair yenye ni special, tunapelekaga those measures uh, tuna na mimi sasa hiyo ni tu, on my personal capacity juu kuna zile ofi, mm. ofisi zenye zi, zinafaa kufanya hivyo. Uh, ikothika wana wanafaa kupeleka mtoto hapa wa yakiwe apimwe mm. apewe nini a wheelchair with his specifications eh? na any other assistive devices ziko hapo wa yakiwe na hiyo hiyo na, national council for persons with disability offices ziko countrywide ni venye tuseme kuna watu wamezembea kidogo kwa, mm. kwa kazi yao na tunaweza naweza usha bullet moja kwa mheshimiwa Mwaora na Songok kuna watu hawafikishi nini information huko kuna watu wamezembea na wakati wengine tuko na ofisi kidogo tunaweza kufanya vitu kubwa kwa hivyo kuna no, connection kuna, kuna connection ya yenye imebaki kidogo. Ime kidogo kwa hivyo Mr Mwaora nominated senator mm. na Mr Songok nominated MP for persons with dis- representing persons with disability mm. tuna tunaoamini na ndio maana mko there mm. so see see to us that things are, are well wafanye yeah, uendelee mm. what take care of kuangalia things pertain that pertain to person with disability are well taken care of zime zimeangaliwa ndio tuweze ku reach mpaka yule yuko pale mashinani nitakatiza kidogo hmm. kuna samu wa mbua kutoka Masinga ambaye ndio mwenyekiti wa NCPWD huko hmm. Masinga nataka kuzungumza naye TV47 hmm. hello hello madam habari leo ndio sana madam habari ya Masinga Masinga mkoa mmm hiyo ni mzuri ah. ungependa kuzungumza na Joseph kwa hapa na kusikia uh. Nam. Endelea. Mashinga ni poa. Uh, uh, na, uh, naomba upunguze sauti ya runinga yako ndio tuweze kusikizana. Okay, asante. Ndio ngoja mbeti pamoja na punguze. Ah, sawa, kuna shida. 
Sasa kuuliza. Uliza. Ha, eh, na kusikia ongeza sauti kidogo yako lakini ya runinga tupunguze haya <laughs> sikuwa iko sawa saa isam endelea e, ni mdugu yangu wa meongea matuti yapo mm. ni ufungua kipiti kipiti kwa katikati nam si mambo yetu ya walembabu mm. naona kuna maari kapama kidogo Mambo gani na kwa mahaswa unaweza tuambia au tueleze? Tuki apply form za kutumetesha tusaidiwa na vitu Hmm Na kujezaidia sinakaa kwa muda na labu sikia sinakuja na watu wajake sana watano siza Hmm Hilo ndiyo swali lako Sam? Hiyo ni moja Hiyo ni moja Lingine ni lipi? Hitu zikienda huko Arobi Westland. Mm. Naenda sasa sana kwa sababu nili apply NDP card. Mm. Kwa siwani ya go. Kwani ya go? Ana lienda huko nikakuta mahali kiwekwa. Mm. Azia shurukiwa. Mm. Bado sijifanye pendi. Naam. Sasa unaanzikanaje huko na rakishwa kwa sababu najua bila kitampizo wewe tukane kama ni mkenya wewe. Mm. Naam. Hao kama kuna kadi yani pike iweze kujikana kama ni mlemaku. Mm. Ile kile tusumbua ni wakati wa assessment. Naam. Assessment ina delay pia. Assessment pia ina delay. Ndioweze ku kuhesabu kama mmoja wa walemavu. Eh nikituma watu aende kwa assessiwa. Mm. Na kwa shibaz. Mm. Kwa watu wa yuko siku takutana lini? Ilichukua muda gani labda unaweza pia tuambia hiyo umesema ilikuwa delay assessment ilichukua muda gani Najukua mwaka madam mwaka moja Mbazi wangu ni mbili na kitu Asante sana uh, Joseph amekusikia am, am, baadhi ya maswali ambayo uko nayo ataweza kukujibu na yale hawezi uh, mwenye anafaa kuyajibu tutayapeleka mbele. Asante sana Sam. Ukwe na siku njema. Ah uh, sasa umesikia amezungumza juu ya masuala tatu. Uh, kujisaidia na pia wana inachukua muda mwingi sana mtu alisubiri mwaka mmoja kupata zile huduma na pia ile kupata ile card. Eh hiyo ni Na ndio nimekuwa nimesema sasa sisi tulichukua initiative yetu. Mm tukaenda kwa mheshimiwa wetu juu assessment ilikuwa ina delay pale kwa government mm. hospital sasa tunawapelekea mpaka kwa uwanja mm. juu watu unasikia wameenda wamekalishwa sana mm. so sisi tulipeleka tulifanya sasa juhudi yetu mm. tukawaletea penye wako kwa mm. village wakafanywa sasa hiyo ni kwetu kiambu sasa kwa tunaweza msaidia unasikia naye kwao sasa wanaleta wame, assessment kwa ina take wana wani ya kupata ID na take one year mm. ndio nikasema Mr. Mwaura na Honorable Honorable Mwaura nominated senator mm. and Mr. Honorable Songok Songok mm. nominated MP kuna watu wamezembea kwa area zao mm. juu unaona kuna kuna daktari amewekwa huko kwa Machakos wa kufanya those assessment kuna wenye wanafaa kupeleka those papers na mtu apate ID yake. Mm. Sione sioni kwa nini mi mtu wa kwangu Kiambu agojea ID wiki mbili mm. ama mwezi mmoja. Kweli kabisa. Na mwingine agojea mwaka mzima. Naam. Ama ama ali apply for other kids. Ati sisi tunapeleka zetu inafuatwa zinakuja zinakuja zinakuja. Mm. Within time na mwingine anagojea wani. Kwa hivyo kuna watu wamelala na hao ndio tunasema waangaliwe wa wenye wamelala waamushwe na kama wataamka wawekwe kando tu, tuende kazini tukafanye kazi. Ah yeah. uh, uh, Catherine neno lako la mwisho wakati umetupa kisogo neno lako la mwisho ni lipi kwa watu ambao labda mtu ameolewa na mtu ana ulemavu ama anapenda ama amezata mtoto hako hivi neno lako la mwisho la ushauri ni lipi? Mm, naweza tu waambia waamini Mungu anaomba alafu kama ni mtoto 
kama kama mtu wako na mtoto asimfite at, amtoe atatibiwa na atapona. Hmm. Na Joseph neno lako la mwisho ni lipi? Tuna mengi ya kuzungumza tutatafuta wakati mwingine tuendelee. Uh-huh. <laughs> neno langu la mwisho ni kusema niwarudishie shukra kukuja hapa ongea ni vizuri tumeongea vitu azijulikani sana kwa Kweli. from hemophilia from living with disability Naam. na maybe tumeweza kuempa mtu hapo pia sisi tuna, tuna get kuempa yana because uh, bado tunasikia watu wanatupatia motisha wanatupatia hongera na nini na nini ile kitu nitaambia watu wa Kiambu wanajua kwenye tunafanyia kazi kunaga mchezo na wanajua mimi si mtu wa mchezo hata 2013 kurazi kutosha lakini si mimi kuja kwa nini kuna MCA mwenye yuko na tutamshikilia kabisa no. ili tuone watu wetu wanapata huduma zenye wanafaa na wakati wa kampeni ukifika tutakuja na tunakuja na deputy William Ruto <laughs> mimi kwa nani eh wa Ruto Eh, wa Haya, asante mm. sana kwa kufika studio ni kwetu. Ah, na tungependa kuwashukuru sana kwa kufika kuzungumza na sisi. Ah, jirani yenu kwa jina Kehu Kimani kutoka ah, Kimani Kahunyo kutoka Kiambu ni jirani yenu amewasalimia sana. Tumefikia mwisho wa kipindi chetu cha leo cha tusemezane. Asante sana kwa wote walio shiriki kupiga simu kuwasiliana nasi na pia kuzungumza na wageni wetu wa leo. Na pia ningewashukuru wote waliofanya hiki kipindi cha leo kuweza kuweza kufanyika. Uh, hadi wakati mwingine ambao ni alhamisi al- 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 ijayo tukutane hapa hapa ndani ya TV47 kutoka saa 4 hadi saa 6. Jina langu ni Vanessa Ndavi na hakikisha umeungana naye Clifford Dubi kwa kipindi cha matukio nyanjani. Kwaheri kwa sasa na ukuwe na weekend njema.